You know, it's not too often a victim of domestic violence steps forward to share her story. It's a courageous act. Today in Fulton County, one woman did as the man convicted of nearly killing her learned his fate. A little part of me kind of wants to know the truth. Rebecca Haschitz doesn't remember what happened the night of August 9th, 2014, but her family does. For the last 317 days, our family has lived a terrible nightmare that will never go away. In court, her parents had the chance to face the man who nearly killed their daughter. Chauncey McCabe, then Rebecca's boyfriend, is convicted of assaulting Rebecca and strangling her with a nylon rope. Her father, Paul, fought for composure. You have no idea what it is like to see your daughter lying on a hospital gurney, fighting for her life, and her family can barely recognize her. McCabe, who avoided an attempted murder conviction, testified in his trial and, while trying to protect his character, apologized to the woman and her family. I'm sorry for everything. To me, sorry is not enough. That's all I can say to try to summarize what happened. The judge shied away from a maximum sentence but sent McCabe to prison for the next 15 years. I was looking for a little higher number, but it works, I guess. Rebecca, still battling for a normal life, just isn't ready to accept his apology. He might be sorry, but I don't think I can sit here and accept it quite yet. Maybe sometime way further down the road, but not now. I do not think the reality of the severity of what he did has, has reached him. And um, if it stops another little girl from growing up and having to face a night like our daughter did, then we have to be comfortable with that. Rebecca tells us she's ready to move on and enjoy life again. A protection order now in place will keep McCabe from contacting her from here on out.